Hello, welcome to this video. I am here to present you in details the gallery shop and how you can set it up. As a starting point, I want you to know that you can create any supplier in the shop. You are not linked to any kind of uh, company. If you already have a company that you are working with to offer albums and prints, you can of course create this supplier in the shop. I want to also start with three small information. Um, first of all, there will be an upcoming video on the automated ordering system provided by Photo Studio. That means that you can activate um, the automated order and Photo Studio will take care of placing the order with the supplier and either send the product to your studio or send directly the products to the customers. I am currently using the version 1.7. So if you are watching <laughs> this video in the future there might be tiny changes to the interface uh, because of course we are constantly updating um, the system and the interface the video includes chapters so don't hesitate to navigate through the chapters if you are looking for particular information so as a starting point uh, let's look at the interface so the latest release um, came with uh, two changes first of all here the catalogs menu replace the previously named pricing plans. And we now have a new icon um, called orders. So it opens a new menu showing um, all the list of orders. Now we have a um, catalog menu here. So when we open this um, icon, then we have a sub menu including five items. We have, first of all, products so that's the products that you are offering to your customer i will dig into details of each sub menu um, just after you also have photo studio products meaning that we have created a few uh, standard products from well-known suppliers that you can very easily add to your products um, then you have products categories in order to organize a bit all the products that you want to offer we have pricing plans so this is how you want to sell and your products either with unitary price or packages and last but not least we have catalogs um, a catalog will be attached to a gallery and grouping all the products that you want to offer and depending on the gallery so let's start with uh, products categories so as i said this is how you want to organize your products so i think most of you will probably choose digital photos, um, albums, frames and prints, but you might want to add additional products. So feel free to add and edit categories by clicking at the, on the add button. Then you have photo studio products here. So um, as mentioned previously, we added a few products um, offered by well-known providers. We already filled in the details and the prices. So if you want to use one of those products, you can very easily add it to your own product. So you have a plus icon here, you click add to my products. So everything is pre-filled, the name, the provider, the print size and um, a small description. Now that you have added it to your product, you must fill in the prices, okay? Because we include the price applied by the provider but we don't include the price that you will uh, apply to your clients okay here you can include a pricing plan don't forget to include the pricing okay and the pricing plan i will show you show it afterwards you can edit them here in the pricing plan section now let's have a look at your at your own product so we see now that the photo studio product has been added here. Okay, so now I want to create my own product. First of all, maybe I want to go to the contact section and add um, the provider. Okay, so contact type will be the provider. The provider will be my pro by provider Timo. Uh, you can fill in an email address if you want, but it's not mandatory. Contact details and so on. Here you have an option called transport fee. So if you want to bill delivery fees, 
to your customer, you must fill in the fee that you want to apply when you are selling products um, sold by this provider. So let's say 10 euro, then I will say that will mean that any order made using products from this provider will add 10 euro to your customer's bill, okay? Now let's add um, a product. So let's say we want to create a print, a photo print, like 10 by 15 centimeters photo print. That will be under print category. The provider will be my provider that I just created. Uh, here I will enter only one photo, but you can of course create products including several pictures. So you just need to adapt the number of photo here and include the print size. Including, I mean, uh, indicating the print size is not mandatory, but if you enable it, um, it will allow the customer to crop the picture if um, the proportions are, are not the same. Okay? So I will include one and I will say that the eight is 10 and with 15, okay? Uh, you can choose an image, of course, to show to the customer. I add an image and you can add a description. So now my product is created. So now there is no price defined yet because we need to add a new option category to define the price, okay? So let's add a category, we will name it paper and we will add two kinds of papers. So the first option will be, for example, glossy paper. You can include the provider price if you want to calculate your margin in Photo Studio. So let's say, I don't know, it's 20 cents. And then here you can create a new pricing plan and choose a picture to show to the customer. Okay, next. Now you are creating a new pricing plan. So this is how you want to sell those prints. Um, so I will name it Prints Pricing Plan. And I will say, so you can either decide on a unitary method or a package, for example, 10 prints and so on. I will say that I have a tiered pricing. So I will say that uh, from one to 10 prints, it's, I don't know, two euros. And then starting from 10, then it's one, one euro and 90 cents. Okay, you can add as many as you want and then you add it and here you go. I will add a second option, which is silk paper. I will choose the same pricing plan because I will say that I offer the same price, but you can of course create a new pricing plan if you want to offer a different price to your customer, okay? I will choose also the picture and add it. So this is the first uh, option category. The first column here is defining the price of the product. You can have, of course, additional options. Um, let's say, I don't know, color. If you are offering frames, for example, then you could have a, a choice of color. Um, but when you add an option here, you can see that you can simply add the color and you cannot add any pricing option, okay? So for every product that you create, remember to create one option, um, at least one option and attach a pricing plan to this option. I would uh, simply give you a piece of advice here. Before setting up all your shop and all your products, I would recommend that you think about all the products that you offer and how you want to use these options, because depending on what you offer, um, a certain organization might make sense. For example, if you offer only one kind of um, photo print paper, then you could, for example, create a product that is photo print and uh, enter print sizes as an option, the first option that defines different pricing, of course, depending on the size. If you offer frames, maybe you want to create one frame as a product, then you will create sizes that will define the price and you might have a color option that will not affect the price as a second option that will be easier to manage either from your interface and also in your client interface. So now I have created my product. I will go to the catalog section and I will create a catalog to group all the products that, you, that I want to offer. Okay, 
So I create the catalog, I can name it. So maybe you will have a wedding catalog, a family catalog. You enter your VAT rate and you can make it a default catalog. That means that every time you will create a gallery, this will be the catalog that you will have uh, selected by default. Now you will add a product. So I will add the product um, that I just created. I will add a digital picture and I will add a frame and a frame set. Okay. So I add all those products. I can see now that I have three categories, digitals, frames and prints. Now I need to go to the galleries. I will take a gallery example, this one, and I will attach the catalog to it. So I click edit, I scroll here and the catalog section here, I will choose uh, the catalog that I had just created with you. Okay, I edit and then the gallery is updated successfully. Okay, so now I will have a look at the gallery from the client side to show you how it looks when the client is connected to the gallery. I am now connected to the gallery um, as a client. So what you see is exactly what your client will see when they connect to their gallery. Okay, so I'm checking my pictures and I will add a few pictures to the card. As a starting point, I will add this picture um, with a print. So I will choose a glossy paper in blue and I will validate the crop and add it to the cart. I will add a second picture and let's say that this one I want to have it as a digital photo, very easy. And I will choose a last one and make it a frame. So this is um, a frame that I created previously. Uh, so as you can see here, I can have a black, blue or white frame, okay? I need to crop, validate, and I add it to the cart. Now I will check the basket and I will click on order. So I can see um, all the pictures and the products that I have created. And here um, it's a demo account, so the data is not pre-filled, but if you are using um, with regular customers and clients that you are also using in the CRM system, then everything will be pre-filled with the name um, and address from the customer. Address is filled and um, if you have enabled online payment, then your customer will be able to very easily pay online and they can also choose other payment method and you can set it up as well, like bank transfer or offline with the cash at your studio or any method that you want to display here, okay? Okay, so I will validate the order then the customer will receive the order and invoice by email. And I will go back to the photographer's interface to show you how it works. So now I open the order section. So here I can track all the different orders that have been made. Uh, I can see that this one has payment status waiting for payment. So here I can easily add a payment and we will pretend that the customer has paid via bank transfer. And I will add the payment. I will, uh, so now you can see that the payment has been made. And now I will edit this order to show you a bit more details. So here I can see every product that has been ordered. I can see that the digital photo has been delivered automatically, of course. And then there is a frame and there is a photo print and um, status is awaiting. Just to let you know here when you click show, you can see the actual picture ordered and also download it. If there is a specific crop made by the customer, you, you will see uh, through downloading the picture how the crop has been made and use the file to order the product. Here you can choose um, the status. So you can say that you have ordered it, for example, um, and or even deliver it to your customer. Um, deliver address here is corresponding to the customer's address, uh, but you can also choose to receive the products first at your studio. In order to do so, you need to click here on your avatar, um, select settings, and under orders here, you have an option, always receive orders at my address. The presentation is finished. There will be an upcoming 
detailed videos on the automated orders taken care of by Photo Studio. I hope it will be useful for you to set up your shop and increase your sales with Photo Studio galleries.